Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope you will return tomorrow. The sun is rising in my eyeball. Um, and we are headed to my sister Christina's house today. My best friend Lauren, she is close with my whole family. Um, but she has yet to meet Poppy Sue. So we planned this day for us all to meet at, um, at my sister's house to just have a nice play date together with all the kids. Um, so that is where we're headed now. Peter's joining us, so we're headed there extra early because he's gotta be there for his first meeting and like be all set up and not be rushed. Um, so yeah, here we go. Judgmental looks over here. Got another kid who keeps putting stuff on the ground and saying, uh oh. Like it wasn't on purpose. And we got Disney music playing. Did you say how James and I have been out for four hours already? Oh, I forgot about that little detail. But the sun is blinding. It's both beautiful and blinding. It is a glorious sunrise over the lake. Oh. Uh-oh, you dropped it again. Uh-oh. Uh. If you watched uh. yesterday's vlog, you will have known that... Uh-oh. James, uh. you're trying to interrupt my clip. Uh. Uh. Um, James fell asleep uh. for his nap at 3.45 p.m. We thought he was gonna wake up at some point, and then it kept getting later and later. We were just like, is he really asleep for the night? And sure enough, he slept until 3.45 a.m., so 12 hours, and then you guys, like, they, like, were able to relax in his room until 4.30, so they've been up for <laughs> quite some time. It's, like, 7.30ish right now. Um, so yeah, that is how that whole situation wrapped up. Honestly, James is in great spirits. I don't know about Peter. Um, but once he gets, he'll get coffee. He'll be, he'll be just dandy. And this kid just can't keep his eyes off me. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Poppy Sue. Here comes Buzz Lightyear. You want me to play the harmonica? No, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's an all black jack. Sitting on his sack. <laughs> he loves his eggs. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Teaching him yoga? Kids, man. Yeah, was, but Poppy was up, and then it was like 6 a.m. I'm like, she's up, Grant. Can you give me some? Trouncy. You're a big kid. There's chaos and suing up there. Go get you. that we're gonna stay here for dinner too and what is super cool is that today was the first time I noticed that Jamesy has actually been putting the colors like matching the colors like I thought that he was just putting whichever one on whichever egg but he's totally being intentional which is really cool I just like he just picked that up on his own 
You love your eggs, don't you, Jamesy? Auntie Christina has all six because she does a good job at, at um, toy inventory at the end of the night. Okay. Mm-hmm. But us, a lot of our toys are under our couch. Okay. All right, we're heading up Pete's Fresh Market. Oh, we got a traffic jam here. So grab some egg rolls. We needed one little extra zesty thing for dinner. And James, it came with me. Yeah. Do you want like a, a little snack or a little treat for coming with dad? That's fun, right? What? Quick in, quick out. I got some egg rolls and some wontons and San Pellegrino for Sarah because she bought the wrong style that she prefers earlier. So I'm picking that up. Ooh. You cannot see on the well, on the camera, but that is a beautiful sunset over there. Here's our dinner at the Sicards. We got fried rice. We got noodles and veggies, and tofu. We got pot. No, these aren't pot stickers. These are egg rolls, but there are pot stickers in there. You know we love our sauces. We got Goiza's dipping sauce, sweet chili sauce, and a tiny bit of soy sauce. Well, I was totally wrong. These are, what are they? Cream cheese? Wont wontons. Wontons, not pot stickers. My favorite Joker and Project Time <laughs> Let's go. Coming in number five, we got the car. <laughs> Classic, simple, and effective. Coming in number four, we got the street vehicle. <laughs> I have dinner table, that's number one. I can no longer do the split. <laughs> we were just doing that. That's pretty good. Hey, Luca. <laughs> she just went back and forth asking me if I could do a bunch of different skills. Vivi, what number am I? She ranked me a three and a half. I what, five? She's a ten and a half, so. <laughs> Right. Oh, 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 oh. I was just loving this ring. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about um wonton. <laughs> oh no! Don't do it. Oh no! Slow walk for me. Oh, he's he's spooky. Can I see you with those teeth, babes? <laughs> <laughs> we are home, the kids are asleep, and so we're going to go to bed. <laughs> we didn't get much sleep last night, um, but it was a good day. Tomorrow's Friday, hopefully work flies by and there's a breeze, and then it'll be the weekend. It's good to be home. Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, please come back tomorrow. Happy Friday. Because we spent all day yesterday at my sister's, 
It felt like Sunday, and today feels like Monday, but it's Friday. And that's great. Um, but today is day number one. I mean, we've been working on this. Um, but today is like our day where we get serious for Operation Teddy Take a Bottle. Um, because we have a, a very important fundraiser slash concert um, in November that there are no, nobody under 21 is allowed. I also just like want him to be like, get familiar with the bottle, make friends with the bottle. <laughs> so he's just hanging out with it now. We got Goofy Movie on and it's lunchtime soon. Guess what? Our lunch shipped, and it was supposed to be here the 19th. We didn't. Well, our lunch is gonna get here tomorrow. I think I said it at some point. If I didn't, Sarah, cut this next section of me rambling. But the new game plan, if you don't recall, I swear I said this already on a camera. We have an M50 that we broke the screen of a couple of years ago. And instead of fixing it, we, our friends sold us their M50 that they weren't using anymore. Well, we still have that M50 body. And it works, except for the LCD. Well, I looked up how much it costs to find and purchase the LCD, and I've got the tools and means to fix it. So rather than, because that lens that we got from Canon right before we lost the M50 is a very nice, and unfortunately the way these things work with reselling, it's like a car, where it's like the second we want to sell that ourselves, it's like less than 50% of the value that we purchased it for. So it's not like we can sell it and get our money back. So that's what we, the, the internal struggle of what we're gonna do for this camera situation is. So we're actually gonna, it's not very expensive. It's like 50 bucks to buy the LCD for the M50. We're gonna buy that. I'm gonna replace that so we'll have the M50 fixed, fingers crossed. But those pieces come from China usually so it takes like over, five weeks for it to get here through customs. So we're gonna fix the M50 so uh, the glass, that good lens can be used on the M50. What about our Sony? Rather than buying that same lens for a high ticket price for the Sony, uh, having just bought the Sony, we bought the Sigma lens that we used to use on our M50 before that we left because it was attached to the camera when we lost it. So we bought the 16 millimeter lens for the Sony and that arrives tomorrow. We got here two, yeah, two minutes and seven seconds, and I swear I've done this already. So I said, did you vlog it, it yesterday? Maybe I did. So maybe this whole thing will get cut out if it was yesterday. He's a cute kid in the big old city. We're gonna have pot stickers for lunch, and I can't wait for my work day to end. Yay! We're gonna Yay! Peel box today. Yeah, we're gonna peel box today. Ooh, it got windy when I pulled the camera out. Also. My hair in this clip, a little crazy. Um, but we did end up on another stroller walk today. We are moving forward with transitioning nap somehow. I got nervous because it was like in the 40s earlier. I was like, you know what? So this weekend, we're going to do some true reevaluating um, and figure out what's best for us moving forward with the, the nap situation, especially with two little ones like the stroller nap is great for him because he's in the carrier. He gets to chill. In Jamesy's bedroom, he is more of a wild card. Um, also, I love our walks. I love being out in our neighborhood. I love the exercise and the fresh air. Um, so we need to figure out how we still want to incorporate that somehow. Um, but yeah, I want to thank everyone for your encouragement and advice about this but like all things parenthood we love our daily vlog it is the treasure of our life having these memories forever um and we love we love putting ourselves out there talking with everyone um, and we understand that we we do that um, but we also just wanted to remind our audience that this is a place for community for support for love for that's just that's just what the Brookhart Project is, is a place of peace. So I don't even remember where I got cut off in that last clip because I ran out of space on my phone. Um, but yes, if you happen to ever find yourself heading to the comment section um, 
to be unkind or judgmental, just don't even, don't even bother. Um, again, compassion, help, support, um, advice when we ask for it, all good things. All good things for the comments. Um, but yeah, this is a peaceful place and there's just no, no need to waste your energy there. Um, but anyways, I am heading out to our peel box. I know there are um, some things waiting there for us. Um, and so I'm finally gonna go over there and get it um, to start our weekend off. We just got unfortunate news. Sarah and Christina, which is weird because we were just talking about it yesterday. Hi, Teddy. Sarah went to the P.O. box, so I've got the kids with me while well, James is asleep. Teddy's playing with me. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. But Jonathan Van Ness canceled his Chicago show, which is not said only said because Sarah and Christina were supposed to go, but Sarah and Christina were supposed to do meet and greets and meet Jonathan Van Ness. Sarah says that Jonathan Van Ness is her favorite human being. They were just talking yesterday at the Sicards about like what were they going to ask, what were they going to say to him. And it got canceled for some reason. Huge bummer. Huge, huge, huge bummer. And now Sarah's sitting in traffic. But I couldn't wait until she got home. I was like, I need to break it. Because I literally said right before she left, left the door, you should listen to Jonathan Van Ness on the way to the P.O. Box because I haven't listened to him in a while and the show's coming up. She closes the door, boom, I get an email and the, the digital ticket on my phone through Ticketmaster says it's invalid and it's invalid. And I was like, that's Leslie Odom Jr.'s December Chicago show got canceled and Jonathan Van Ness's November Chicago show got canceled. What's happening? At least I got this cutie pie with me. Ticket, ticket, daddy. Boom, boom. Ticket, ticket, daddy. Boom, boom. <gasps> stomp, stomp, stomp. Ticket, 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 stomp, stomp, stomp. Ticket, 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 ticket. Hi. 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 You're a drooly bug. You're a drooly bug. Oh, it's so tickly. Ticket, 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 ticket. <laughs> Just sitting here minding my own business, enjoying some. Chicago views and listening to Jonathan Van Ness's podcast getting curious because Peter's like just go to the P.O. box take a drive enjoy some like time like I don't know we're just feeling Friday and I'm having a little mommy a mommy moment and he calls me and tells me that the Jonathan Van Ness night at the Chicago theater was canceled my meet and greet of my dreams, of my favorite human, is canceled. I'm so sad. I I know that it's like a a frivolous problem to have. I know that, but my sadness is real. I'm playing with Teddy. Sarah spilled the peel box. James, he actually fell asleep again over there on the carpet, so I had to move the fan. And we got some old bucket list family just getting our feels going for the weekend. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. I don't know if you can really tell. Oh my gosh, my hair is crazy. Okay, I don't know if you can really tell, but I got blessed with an incredible parking spot. I was like circling a little bit. You know, parking in the city is tough. Um, and usually Peter and I will come to the P.O. Box together because he'll just circle while I run in. The P.O. Box, I set it up in my name and they're very strict about only having me pick up P.O. Box mail that does not fit inside. Here is the P.O. Box, like you can see it right there. I didn't even have to pay. This is just like a random strip of just like, you can park here. So, we got some goodies. And we haven't done this in a while, and guys are just so kind to us to ever feel that like you could want to send us anything. Um, and we're always just so humbled by it. So I have to show you. I opened this one inside because it was from our friends Jordan and Keaton, and I feel terrible. We've been slacking on picking stuff up. This is a beautiful Epcot pin. I hope this car in front of me does not back into my car. Um, I gave them plenty of space. So I sent us that pin, and look at that. It's Peter's tattoo. So lovely, Jordan and Keaton, love you. Cannot wait to be with you again. 
Um, and then I also opened this one while I was inside. It's from Michelle. I realized I didn't fully open it. Um, such a kind, thoughtful rose quartz angel. Can you see this? In memory of my mother who passed away, if you're new here. Um, my mom passed away last summer very suddenly and that is just so thoughtful and beautiful and a couple of other stones in here as well um so wonderful thank you michelle so happy again like some of these are from months ago it's hard to get to our p.o box um during the week obviously life is a little busy this one has been here forever from kate um because there was like a little inconsistent, like they had to like, when I got there once, they had to, I forget the word they used, like verify it. There's Mickey Mouse on here. Oh my goodness, some sweet. This will fit Teddy perfectly right now. And we are going to Florida. Those are so sweet. Oh my gosh. I love this gingham. I love it so much. If I saw this, I would buy it immediately. Thank you so much, Kate. Yeah, they had to verify the package one time I, and I didn't have my ID. This is so, so sweet. Oh my gosh, who is this from? I don't know. I hope there's a card, but I already saw what's inside. So we have this in the Florida version. This is the Chicago. Is it a, it's a burp cloth and babe, I love this. It's like a cape. It has the Chicago flag, pizza, the lion, rainbow cone. Oh my gosh, and there's something else in here too. Another something, maybe it's, guys. This is making me feel so much better after the news I got on my drive here. A swaddle of the same thing. Who sent us this? Friends, whoever sent this, please, please, please tell us. Because I want to thank you and give you a hug. This is to Teddy from the Emma family. Feels like a book. I know what I've seen these before and I've never read them myself thank you we love books our library at Christmas like I'm truly like my goal is to like grow our library for this Christmas because our well Jamesy loves books so much and Teddy's been along for the ride seems to enjoy him thank you guys you're so thoughtful and generous Ooh, a rainbow puzzle ball. A little busy toy for the growing boy from Sarah Irvine. Sarah has said that she said something and that we needed to go. So this is, looks really cool. I'm sure he's gonna love it. Thank you, Sarah. Now Teddy has something and Jamesy has something. Oh my goodness. There's so much fun in here. All right, let's see. Let's see. Cute little pants. I gotta, I gotta see if there's a note first. Enjoy your gift, Teddy. Welcome, Maggie. And it says Maggie and, but no, nothing after Maggie. Nothing after the and. So, if you are Maggie, tell us who the and is. So stinking cute. <laughs> little Hawaiian number this actually that will probably fit Jamesy for the cruise so Jamesy might be wearing that and so cute a little sunshine construction shirt thank you wow what a haul what fun thank you from the bottom of our hearts thank you thank you Okay, we had a little bit of a trying moment there. 
but we got James calm. I need to get him out of this, these pajamas. And we actually got Teddy to fall back asleep. We got him to take four ounces in the bottle. It was like a Hail Mary, but it worked. So we're looking good, right? We just kind of have a little bit of an angry puppy over here. Look who made it back. Hi. We were trying to figure out a dinner situation because we're it's, feeling sorry. it's like sad because Jonathan Van Ness, but it's also trying to be happy because it's Friday. <laughs> And right. we finally went to the P.O. box and there was like wonderful gloriness, I especially. Did a I did a, uh, a haul. These things. Okay, so we went with a hybrid dinner to not be disappointed either way. And that is we got our like local burger shop rocks. We got nachos and one burger to split on a deal. And then we had some like quick ready-made like noodle things from Aldi. <laughs> You're Jamesy. Um, but anyways, it's like not fully cooking, but not fully going out. And so it's like, it's like this middle ground, but also being able to eat something right away because I got hungry really fast. All right, I got dinner. We got Rocks and Lakeview. If you're ever in the area, check them out. They're one of the best burger joints, I think, in all of Chicago. Oh, look at they like dogs. Oh, bye bye bye, bye. Well, bye bye bye, bye. All the good fellas. Can we get the fellas? I don't remember. We got the no, we got the Gordo. Yeah. We got the Gordo, which is like hot on, hot on, hot on. Uh, but guess. fried pickles. Ooh. Pickles and fried pickles. Look at this. Nachos. White trash nachos. Yum. And french fries. French fries. And then here's our home. Our home options. Happy Halloween to you. It's not so very scary. Are you sleepy? So Halstead has a Halloween parade. I think they're getting ready for it. I think we showed this in the vlog the other day, but I want to show you them at night. They got street decorations on the lights. How cool is that? I dig it. The little Halloween fall gloominess with the rain at nighttime. What is that? Oh, are you comfortable? Sarah's putting James down, so I'm gonna tackle the toys. Put on this show that's on HBO Max called Homegrown. It's about setting up gardens in your backyard. And I heard it's really good. She is an Atlanta-based farmer. This is a really good show. Wait for it. This is a really later night than we thought. You know we were going to be out here and have a little couch date night. Yeah, just us two. But then James was like, nah, I'm going to... But he's... Really enjoy your snuggles. <laughs> yeah, he really, he really is a good snuggler, though. So at least he was in good spirits for the most part. And Carrie's been... Asleep for a while. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.